Good afternoon, my name is Christina Hernandez, and I will be giving a formal analysis on this work done by Julius Rochevin, titled Dilettante, from the 1920s. It is oil on panel and created during the American Impressionism period, showing a girl, and the girl is, has a pellet in her hands. We know by the look of her face, her hands, that she is wealthy, there's no wrinkles, but we also get the impression that she's young. She's a young girl. Um, as far as being wealthy, uh, the look of her dress. Her dress is, is beautiful. Uh, she's missing the other element to what she should be painting. She needs an easel. There is no easel. So clearly, I see that she was posing for the artist that was painting her. She is a dilettante because she doesn't clearly understand that she needs the easel to paint. There we see a curtain. We see a coat hanging right here. Um, it's a dark room. We, I also see that she is sitting because there's her knee and her other leg is resting, perhaps just resting. Uh, we see that the chair that she's sitting on is sitting on a step. There yeah. is a chair on the side with books. And this chair, as you can see, is very ornate. It, um, it is represented with um, some fringe. I can see some fringe on the chair, as well as um, the, the scrolls of the chair. Uh, they appear to you know, be colored, but at the same time, there is some some characteristics of it having some gold splashes to that chair. So, which represents that whoever did this or wherever she's at, she is in a place where she is. Well, she's in a place such as a theater. The focal point of this painting is a girl, obviously, like I said before, she is the one who it, your eye goes to immediately, followed by the palette. Um, we also see that there is definition in the, the curtain back there, and there is a coat right here, so there is uh, a line, a continuous line throughout the curtain, um, continuous line throughout this uh, step that she's on. As we see, there is chiaroscuro involved in this painting. It comes from the left, perhaps even from the bottom, but that chiaroscuro uh, makes for her to be the center point of attention for this painting. The dress is the focal point, obviously, of the chiaroscuro, and therefore creates uh, the darkness against her beautiful, neutral, yellow dress. We can see in this painting the folds, the continuous folds. You know, we can see the detailed folds. The color range of this painting accentuates her dress. Um, like I said earlier, creating the chiaroscuro effect so that the dress can be seen. It's a contrast. Um, there is depth in this painting. Uh, we know that she's sitting on a step, as I mentioned before. Uh, she is, she's back there in a room. The transition of colors um, between a little bit dark here, there's dark here, and obviously there's a lot of dark here, makes for this to be the center focal point of the painting, creating that chiaroscuro effect like we talked about before. Um, again, we do know from what I, we see here is that she is wealthy, she's young, there's no wrinkles in her face or in her hands, and um, she has no easel, so she is not painting, she's a dilettante, amateur painting, or not even an amateur painter. She's just um, there posing for the painter to draw her. Um, it's a beautiful piece, there is no space, the only space there is 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 that she's back there. That's and, and it's it's a it 
seems like it's a tight space because of the curtain and this coat that's hanging and she's in a tight space other than that there is no volume in this piece there is however a sense of of happiness she is happy